like the wisdom of my teacher. May my wisdom also shine all throughout the universe and illumine one and all. If I shall fulfill these vows, may all lands tremble with joy from the heavens wondrous flowers rain down upon all the land. Aloha. Thank you very much for joining Aie Hongaji Virtual Ohigan Service. Higan is the transliteration of the Sanskrit word paramita, which means the other shore and here it refers to reach or attain nirvana. Higang-e is a week-long biannual Buddhist observance that is unique to Japan. Although the exact origin is not known, the relatively moderate climate of spring and autumn might be considered ideal to conduct Buddhist gatherings. Last Sunday, I shared about Shinran Shoni and families. I said, being a family, being a member of the family allows us to practice the paramitas, the virtue of Buddhism. The perfection of the paramitas are practices that are said to lead the Bodhisattva to eventual enlightenment and Buddhahood. It is said that the Bodhisattva Dharmakara practiced these virtues, perfecting them over five kalpas. The traditional six parameters of Mahayana Buddhism are selfless charity, patience, moral and ethical conduct, courage, and meditative practice, which all lead to the sixth parameter, wisdom. In Jodo Shinshu tradition, we understand that the primal vow assures our enlightenment, and no matter how hard we practice, we cannot, certainly within this lifetime, perfect the practice of the parameters that leads to Buddhahood. Our own self-powered practice must give away to our reliance on Amida Buddha for the kalpas that he practices, he practiced the parameters for our revelation. It is also important for us to demonstrate these virtues not to attain enlightenment, which is already assured, but demonstration of 
gratitude for our revelation by Amida Buddha, knowing that we cannot practice them perfectly. Let's take a look at each of the six parameters. Dana, who said, giving, offering, and generosity. It is the practice of an open heart, of giving freely what others need. This comes in the form of material aid, such as food and money. The giving of fearlessness, which comes in the comfort and emotional support, and the highest giving that is the giving of Dharma. Second, Sila, Jikai, discipline or observing the precepts. Jikai, Sila, is to de develop good behavior, to obey the rules of parents and teachers of society. Buddhism encourages the development of the threefold discipline behavior of body, speech, and mind. Obeying the laws of society is not meant to be taken as unquestionably accepting social norms. Quite often, one finds that society is a great source of our suffering. Number three, shanti, ninniku, patience, inclusiveness. One who is patient can endure long and be able to overcome many difficulties. With patience, we can develop an open heart and frustration and anger will diminish. Number four, virya, shojim, endeavor, diligence, or perseverance. Shojim is to strive one's entire heart not for merely short periods of resolute effort, but continuously over long periods. Spiritual strength enables the individual to continue on without giving up in the face of difficulties. It is the anti antidote for doubt and restlessness. Number five. Dhyana, Jōzen, meditation. Jōzen, Dhyana, or meditation, is the practice of meditation that helps the person to develop the other parameters. Meditation allows the person to concentrate upon the activities of the mind, thereby learning to understand it more truly. Through meditation, one can penetrate the mind delusions and gain understanding of and insight into ultimate reality. Last one. Number six, prajna, jie, wisdom, insight, or understanding. Jie is to see things as they are. It involves abandoning our preconceptions, judgments, and viewpoints that come from our egoic mind. It is the letting go of opinions and concepts, which result when we abandon egoic self and brings wisdom leading unswervingly to enlightenment. Okay, let me show you the antonyms of each one. Dana, miser. Sila, break the promise. Shanti, short temper. Virya, dull. Dhyana, rest rest. Rajna, envy, jealous, or resent. Then, what kind of person is doing only the Opposite of six parameter. A stingy, sloppy, breaching promise, impatient, 
hysterical, lazy, bored, jealous, and resentful. Is this somebody familiar with? Maybe myself. Well, we are all Bombu, the Akuni, the evil person in Shinran Shonin's terms. Because of this basic flawed nature of humanity, we thrive on recognition, on thanks, and on praise. And though our giving is always flawed, always lacking in true selflessness, it is a wonderful thing to give anyway. We give our time, our talents, our resources, a kind look, thoughtful words, a warm smile. All are generous. All are needed to spread the Buddha Dharma. And all are gratefully received. The parameter of dana is a perfection. It requires that we practice constantly and we will constantly strive to be less selfish, to require less in return for what we do to benefit others. No one is expected to do it correctly on this path. That's why we always practice it, we still strive to get it right. Amida Buddha got it right. In true reality, he comes to us from having perfected the parameter of dana. So perfect is his dana that he shares selflessly, even the enlightenment attained over five kalpas of the profound practice and perfection of all parameters. On this occasion of Ohigan service and peace day, let us appreciate Amida Buddha's great wisdom and compassion, and let us walk together the path to enlightenment with Onen Butsu. Please join me in Gassho. Namanda Butsu, Namanda. Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts. Thank you very much. <laughs>